Hi, Micro Teaching introduces the teacher trainings to a wide range of teaching skills and allow the teacher training to practice each skill one at a time until he or she becomes proficient in this skill. Later on, the teacher training will be able to think many test skills to achieve the desirable outcome. Now, I am going to discuss in detail in the concept of micro teaching and its cycle. A teacher makes use of number of methods and techniques to bring about effective teaching. These techniques include motivating the students, explaining, questioning, writing on the blackboard, using teaching aids, and so on. The teacher could also make use of non-verbal behavior such as smiling, nodding, and gesturing. These groups of activities are called skills. A teaching skill is group of teaching acts or behaviors intended to facilitate people's learning directly or indirectly. If the teacher trainees are conscious and aware of teaching skills, they will be able to concentrate on each of the skills and gain mastery over the skill. Definitions of micro teaching. Micro teaching has been defined in many ways like micro teaching as a scaled down teaching encounter in class size and class time is said by Allen D.W. 1966. Micro teaching as a system of controlled practice that makes it possible to concentrate on specific teaching behavior and to practice teaching under controlled conditions is said by Allen E. 1968. According to Parsi B.K., the most important point in micro teaching is that teaching is practiced in terms of definable, observable, measurable and controllable teaching skills. From the stated definition, a more comprehensive definition of micro teaching can be stated as follows. Micro teaching is a teacher training technique where the complexity of the normal classroom teaching are reduced by practicing one teaching skill at a time, limiting the content to a single concept, reducing the class size to 5 to 7, reducing the duration of the lesson 5 to 7 minutes. Next, I am going to concentrate on steps in micro teaching cycle. Actually, in micro teaching cycle, having some steps. Step number 1, planning. Step number 2, teaching. Step number 3, feedback. Step number 4, replan. Step number 5, reteach. Step number 6, refeedback. And repeat the cycle until the teacher trainee are mastery over the skill. Step number 1, planning. This tips involves selection of the skills to be practiced, awareness of the components of the skill, selection of the suitable concept, and the writing of the micro lesson plan. Step number 2, teaching. The trainee teaches the lesson in the micro teaching setting. The NCRT has suggested the following setting for micro teaching. Time, 6 minutes. Number of students, 5 to 10. Supervisor, teacher educator and or one or two peers. This lesson is being observed by the teacher supervisor or peers or videotape or audio tape. Step number 3, feedback. The analyze the performance and discuss the teacher training on the basis of the rating using the appraisal guide. The feedback should focus on specific behavior related to the model of teaching skill. The supervisor can reinforce effective behavior and draw attention to other behavior modifications necessary for mastering the skill. Step number four, replan. In the light of the feedback received from the supervisor and peer observers, the teacher trainee replans his or her micro lesson by writing another micro lesson plan or modifying the existing one. Step number five, reteach. The teacher training reteaches the revised lesson to another but comparable group of students. The supervisor checks to see whether there is any improvement in skill attainment. Step number six, refeedback. The supervisor assesses the lessons once again and provides the feedback to the training. This process repeats till the teacher training acquires the required level of competency. The duration of Indian model of micro teaching as recommended by NCRT is 36 minutes as follows. Teaching section consists of 6 minutes. Feedback session consists of 6 minutes. Replan session consists of 12 minutes. Reteach session consists of 6 minutes. Refeedback session consists of 6 minutes. 
Total duration of micro teaching cycle is 36 minutes. Uses of micro teaching. Micro teaching techniques enhances the effectiveness of teacher training programs in the following ways. Micro teaching helps in reducing the complexity of the normal classroom teaching. This helps the teacher training gain more confidence in real teaching. Micro teaching creates MR, the teacher training and awareness of the various skills of which teaching is composed of. Micro teaching stimulates the classroom scene and gives the teacher training an experience of real teaching. Feedback enables the teacher training to consciously concentrate on specific behavior modification. As micro teaching focuses on the modification of behavior and improvement of interaction process involved in teaching learning process, the teacher training can handle classes more effectively in real teaching. Objectives can be defined more easily and more reliable measures of change in teacher's behavior can be thought of using behaviorally defined skills. Micro teaching focuses on the modifications of behavior and improvement interaction process involved in teaching learning process. The teacher training can handle classes more effectively in real teaching. Micro teaching helps in reducing the complexity of the normal classroom teaching. This helps a teacher training gain more confidence in real setting. I hope that all of us to understand the definition of micro teaching and the cause of micro teaching cycle.